Before I got sober, I was a pretty negative person. I couldn't see anything with appreciation. I wasn't grateful for anything. I was so wounded. I just couldn't, it was excruciating to hear about gratitude. Fast forward 18 years to present day where I live in a state of gratitude and positivity. Whoa, how in the world did that happen? How did I go from this angry, bitter, blaming victim for 30 years all over my childhood, drinking and drugging about it the whole time, to this person who is me, as a sober woman, I have the possibility of living in gratitude and positivity. And I want to share with you how that happened. It all started with forgiveness. That's what started it off. But it really got its going. It really took off when I discovered gratitude. Now, Fred Luskin is a PhD for forgive a PhD psychologist at Stanford and he says that when we resent we are doing three things we are taking the offense personally too personally we are blaming the offender for our feelings and we are telling a tale of woe our grievance story ah so let's look at these things these are three tips that I want to give you to get beyond a resentment. Tip one, let's look at, let's explore that. Taking the offense too personally. 99.9% .9 of the time, people are not thinking about you. They're worried about their own grievance story. I invite you to let go of your need to take it personally. The second thing is blaming the offender for your feelings. You can either continue to blame the offender or you can look at your activities and your behavior and that is the unenforceable rules that you have projected and placed on that other person. And they, you, they didn't fulfill it, you got angry Hence, a resentment. So I invite you, instead of looking at the other to blame, look to yourself first. And finally, the third tip is to ask and answer three questions. One, what is the positive that has come about because of this experience? Two, what is the lesson that I am learning? And three, what can I be grateful for? When you, are, when you ask and answer these three questions, you become inspiring and inspired. You give permission to the person who is struggling. You give permission to them to sing their song of a hero. I encourage you to live with gratitude in your life. It's a wonderful place, a wonderful place to be. Why, one of the things that took me out with my drinking was an unrequited love. After seven years in sobriety, I learned to be grateful for the unrequited love because it pried me out of my marriage which was an alcoholic marriage. It got me sober. It brought me to the forgiveness work I do today. And it brought me gratitude. It brought me a book that I'm writing today. So those are all the things that gratitude can bring to you. Just remember those three points. Don't take it too personally. I invite you not to blame the offender, look within. And the third thing is, 
ask and answer three questions so you can sing your song of a hero instead of telling a tale of woe. Thank you.